On Wednesday night, a famous zoologist was on a mission to save the planet on Channel 4. I think Chris Packham's becoming a bit of a disruptor. If Chris Packham asked me to break the law, I'd probably say yes. Because you know he'd ask you for a good reason. This would be about protesting. And he's saying, we waited, it's not changing. We've got to take drastic measures. Listen, life has vanished since I've loved, loved it. it. It's true. It's very poetic, this, isn't it? He's getting a bit deep already, old Chris, isn't he? The CCC reports, the IPCC report, the science has been printed. Ooh, what's that? Oh, gosh. Oil. There are thousands of people dying around the world due to the impacts of climate. I don't beat around Bosch, Chris Packham. Powerful, powerful opening image of our crest. Listen, we are sleepwalking to an apocalypse. The wildfires, the floods, it is literally, it is like apocalyptic Bible shit. We've got children, grandchildren that are gonna come into this world. What kind of world is it gonna be? A shit one, not a nice one to live in. Is it time to break the law? Oh, Chris is gonna turn criminal. He's a humanity hooligan. Yes. He's trying to create a noise yes. to get people thinking. I get it. Yeah. Now, I got my first pair of binoculars in 1970, and since then, we've lost 69% of the world's wildlife. Fucking hell, what? That's a shocking number. That is. That is frightening. 69% in 53 years. What about in another 50 years where we're going to be at? There'll be nothing left. I've been writing banners. I've been posting posters. I've been a peaceful, democratic activist. But none of it has worked. Yeah, because you know what? People that do the peace month demonstration, they just get laughed at. Well, perhaps I have to take another route. You know where it's going. What is the other route? Breaking the law. Does that other route mean that this is the time for me to break the law? Anarchy. <laughs> That's what we're doing. The law is meant to be there to protect, but is the law there to protect the environment? You've got water companies breaking the law, chucking Sewerage into yeah. the rivers. You had all companies broken the law, stuff going all out in the sea and stuff. Yeah. I think you've got every right, Chris. I've come to see another Just Stop Oil protest in action. Just Stop Oil are the big ones. They're the ones who do those uh, where they just stand in the middle of the street, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and uh, glue, super glue themselves to the, the roads and stuff. Yeah. What I don't understand, though, is surely they want to get people on side, but all they seem to do is just piss everybody off. Good, thanks. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Yeah. Ella and Sean, two university students, are about to knowingly risk arrest and a criminal record. Wait, have they not done the crime yet? So isn't Packham like... Uh, an accessory. An accessory. <laughs> what do you feel about the fact that this is going to annoy a, a lot of people? They think it's uh, vandalism. But what are they going to do, though? What are they going to vandalise? Yeah. I don't want to break the law, um, but I also don't want millions to die. I'm scared. I'm really scared. There's something that has to be done. They're risking the future, aren't they? But to them, they have no future, so anywhere, so it's worth the risk. Do you know what, though? Think about the suffragette movements. Suffrag exactly. You know, that change happened when people broke the law. Yeah. The target for the action this morning is the policy exchange. What's the policy exchange? What, what are we interrupting here? And recently, the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, had said that they were influential when it came to drafting new legislation to crack down on protesters. They're attacking the think tank that influences their ability to protest. So they're going for the people who are stopping them doing it in the first place. It's all getting a bit tense. Can't only imagine what they feel like. <gasps> Look, she's got a can of paint. You've got a big tub of paint, something's getting a lick in. <gasps> hey, what the hell? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, and now they're sitting outside. I just think to myself, though, is that doing anything? They're literally just going to get someone to clean that up and you're going to jail. That's going to be the end of it. <laughs> no, look, ain't funny, mate. You're a dickhead. Seriously, get a fucking life. They know that they're going to get some shit off people. That's why they're doing it. Who pays for that? The tax man fucking pays for that. It's not really got the reception that they have. <laughs> <laughs> It's not drummed up the business, has it, really? We need to It's just you two. And Chris Packham. <laughs> yeah, Chris, it was Chris's idea. If they're prepared to make sacrifices to get their fear across, part of me is asking myself, should I be joining them? Oh, Chris is thinking about doing his own stunt. But the thing is, how much do you do? How much can you do in yeah. your working life? Yeah. Unless, like he is, is a naturist. 
Is he a naturist? No, is, is he? Oh, I don't know. Well, he's somebody... A naturist who keeps his clothes on, then. I do understand Chris's point. I genuinely do. Yeah. But where's the affordable solution? You know, you look at all these electric <laughs> cars... <laughs> right, I know that would be coming from you. If it's going to cost me, I'm not interested. Let the world burn. No, no, <laughs> no!